I rub an epoxy dry. And I'm busy cleaning uh, condo hallways today. I've actually got two buildings to do. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, and then I'll do the next one tomorrow. They're identical. And this is the worst spot on the home, on, the, on both the buildings, apparently. We've got somebody who uh, works in a fast food restaurant, comes in off the elevator, which is just over here. Um, and their oily, greasy shoes transferring off onto the carpet. The carpet's less than five years old, I think. Uh, you can see even over there, we've got a track to deal with. Um, so it's pretty gruesome looking. But anyway, I gave it a pre-spray with some suspend. I actually had brought my pressure sprayer up uh, into the building. I think you had a light pre-spray a few minutes ago. And I just went and did around the corner here. And the, uh, the landing on the stairwell there. Uh, so the pre-spray has been sitting there for a few minutes. I didn't soak it, but I did put enough on there to get a little bit damp. Because I don't want to dissolve the grease and drive it into the backing. And today I'm actually cleaning, believe it or not, I'm actually cleaning with a two-way pad. I have a, a super absorb there, which I expect I'll be using on this area after I use the uh, two-way pad. Two-way pads actually do clean most carpets really quite well, at least under the OP machine. Um, I normally, in the past, have used them more than any other pad. Um, They'll clean well for light to moderately and fairly heavy, heavily soiled carpeting. They're, I think they're limited, um, but they'll do surprisingly well. And I'll actually, um, I'll show you something here. I'll show you the pad that I used on the floor above to give you an idea. The floor above was nowhere near like this. This is the worst one, but still. Then that goes on the other side of the door, exact opposite to what we just came through. So um, this is what the two-way pad looked like before I cleaned. And here's the one that I was using on the far above. This is actually the top of it. And there's the bottom. And this is what was contacting on the floor. So you can see that they actually, underneath the OP machine, they do draw up and bleed into the, up, right up through the pad. So they do definitely absorb. And they seem to work well for the OP machine. That's been my experience anyway. And the advantages of them is that they do slide easily on the carpet. So this particular carpet does want to fight back a little bit. And the machine is sort of wanting to dart in various directions all the time because of being an OP. Um, but I do have a small glider underneath there that has really helped a lot. And um, yeah, they also, the two-way pads are very durable. They really last. So they do have their place. They're not the answer for everything by any means, but um, I, I do like to use them in the right situation. So anyway, let's just see how well it works over, over here. And uh, come along with me. I'm cleaning with Revive Rocket right away. That's four ounces per gallon. Looks like it's removed 100%. Uh, 
actually. And then there's a big stain here. See that? Let's go over that. It's gone uh, I more right, right in front of me. And gone. So isn't that interesting? You see the two head at least under an OP, I think they work pretty darn well, actually. shadow from the dark door but otherwise 100 percent i am very happy with that and let's have a look at the uh, two-way van while we're here mm -hmm. see it'll go a long way yet i'll do the whole floor with this so anyway there you go i'll let you go so thanks for watching and have a good day.